The Wasilla Lady Warriors are the two-time defending Alaska State Champions, and they were also the two-time defending Doc Larson Round Ball Classic Champions when they hosted the Century Jaguars from Hillsboro, Oregon on the 2012 Classic second day. Kyla Dinkle was in her office early. She got the Warriors up for zip. Jaguar freshman Chantal Castaneda had an 11.3 assist opening round performance. Add two more. Kyla had 23 points in opening night play, but she also distributes. Alicia Devine drains the jumper. Alicia Devine pushing the rock. Savannah Burke already under the D. Savannah works the baseline with the reverse. The Warriors are up 10-2 in less than three minutes of play. Jenna Ford feeds Alicia Devine on the wing. Devine with the perfect lob entry, but Savannah Burke puts a little too much on the shot. No worries, Alicia follows her pass, cleans the glass, then goes high off of it. It's 12-3 Warriors. Brianna Weaver's in a tight spot, but she squeezes the ball through the trap to Sierra Nakano, who makes the extra pass to Emily Ellis for the short jumper. Jags down 12-5. Here you see the tiny windows of opportunity. Pass and relocate. Give and go. As always, the Lady Warriors illustrate the fine art of basketball. They're up 16-6. More fine art. All five Warriors touch the rock and Kyla Dinkle sinks it. 20 to six Warriors. It only takes two to tango the next time down. Ford to Divine for the finish. Tinker to Evers to Chance. Well actually that was Jenna Ford to Amanda Hutchins to Alicia Divine. The Warriors beat the buzzer and drop 26 points in 8 minutes with their typical first quarter knockdown. Emily Ellis goes straight up with an inbound pass to breathe a little second quarter life into the Jaguars and check this out, freshman Chantal Castaneda with the step back cross for Trey. No pressure in the pocket as quarterback Jenna Ford casually slings the rock into field goal position. Masha Toes connects from 18. It's 30 to 11 Warriors. Again, the Jaguar zone D fails to pressure the point, and this time Alexis Imo and Alicia Devine connect for the splash on the three ball. The Wasilla offense operates at such terrific angles. Here, Alexis Imo feeds Savannah Burke, who works the paint, creating space for Alicia Devine, who hesitates then attacks the back door. The Warriors are up 37-12. Let's see it again. However, next time down, Chantal Castaneda reads the angle and anticipates the pass. She takes the steal the other way and levitates just long enough to hit the fading floater at the buzzer. The Lady Warriors are up on the Young Jaguars, 37 to 14 at the half. Two talented freshmen learning at the School of Hard Knocks. Second half, Alicia Devine works from the midcourt down the lane, kicks out to Savannah Burke for the 10-footer. It's 39-14, and Alexis Imo and Kyla Dinkle connect on the inbound underneath set. Kyla leaves it hanging. Spoiler alert, she was named the tournament's MVP, and whoa, check that out. Chantal Castaneda with the handles and the dime. Brianna Weaver turns the dime into a dollar. Cue up the slow-mo. Once again, Alicia Devine moving the rock, hits Alexis Imo at the block, Warriors up 50-18. to 18. Same play in Technicolor. As we saw her do in the first half, Brianna Weaver waits out a trap and connects with Sierra Nakano. This time, Sierra keeps for the deuce. But the Warriors reverse rolls, Imo to Devine, 52-20. Brianna Weaver takes it from the wing to the baseline and slings another dime, Nash style. Casey Atma with the three bagger. It's still Warriors 52 to 23, but the Warriors answer in seconds. Alexis Imo to Savannah Burke out in front. Great floor coverage from Savannah all day. 
timeout, Jaguars. They're down 54 to 23. Jaguar freshman Jade Bavandich came up one rebound short of a double-double in opening round play, but had little success against the Warriors. She hits her lone field goal of the night. I wish I could see her play for the next few years. But here in Alaska, we've got the Warriors whipping it around the horn. Imo to Burke to Divine. Again, Imo to Burke to Divine, right into your living room. Warriors up 56-26. And Amanda Hutchins sees the back door from the front door. Savannah Burke misses, but Kyla Dinkel battles for the second chance deuce. 43 points in two nights for Kyla. Alexis Imo from the strong side wing to Masha Toes at the wide open back door. 64 to 26, and Masha gets the steal and rewards Jenna Ford for a night's worth of signal calling and tough D. The fabulous freshmen keep battling for the Jaguars. Chantal Castaneda to Jade Bavandich and back for the splash. Jags down 67 to 29, but still working. Jenna Ford is still on the job as well. She works through three Jags to get the late call up and younger Divine the open look. Kay Divine knocks the bottom out. Kay is just an initial. I don't have her full name yet. But I probably will soon. Ford and Divine connect again and Divine sinks one from the north side. Warriors up 40. One final bucket, Brianna Weaver works off of a Sierra Nakano screen for a tree. The Jaguars work hard until the end, but fall to Alaska's state champions, the Wasilla Warriors, 71-34. The Warriors set up a rematch of last year's Alaska 4A state championship game in the ladies' ship of the 2012 Doc Larson Round Ball Classic. Kyla Denkel, 20 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 steals. Alicia Devine, 22 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 5 steals. Alexis Imo, 8 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists. And for the Jags, Chantal Castaneda, 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 steals. <laughs> 